Hey Zoid, can I borrow Man, the- that is downright impressive. Yeah, that is some amazing choreography right there. I wonder how they do all that. Do they make it up all on the fly, or, or is it all scripted beforehand? Eh, can't tell nowadays. Zoid? <laughs> ah! You can always knock! Jeez! Zoid? What's- what's that? What was what? First of all, I am listening to League of Legends music, not playing the game. That's still League of Legends, and we've agreed to not touch anything related to LOL in this household. Yeah, I gotta give it a Rex right now. This is a pretty new low for you, Zoid. Since when do you show up and let alone care? Probably when you decided to break the one rule that we've collectively made as a group. Okay, seriously though, where are you guys coming from? I must say, Zoid, I am very disappointed in you. The fact that we aren't even still friends with you is most illogical. Enough! <clears throat> if you will all allow me to cope with the time, I would like to explain my position in this to all of you so that you guys understand. Maybe we should give Zoid a chance to explain himself. Who knows? Maybe we are blowing this way out of proportion. Very well, Megatron. Alright, so you know how a lot of gaming companies do a lot of cool stuff with their communities? Well, yes, I suppose so. Well, Riot Games has actually done some pretty cool things with the community. First off, eSports. League of Legends is actually still one of the most popular eSports games to date. They even have their own annual live event called Worlds, where players and teams from all around the world come to compete. And one of their standout players has definitely got to be Faker. Him and his Team T1 have won multiple Worlds Championships over the years, including the one last year. I've actually seen some of his gameplay performances on the pre-recorded streams where it all went down, and man, he plays like a freaking beast. Second, Arcane. Arcane is League of Legends' only Netflix show, and my god, I don't think I've ever cried as much to any other show, ever. The character development and personalities are well written, the plot is solid and grounded, the mood is immediately set to have darker tones and sticks with that throughout the rest of the show, and the music is just a chef's kiss. And on that note, Riot's music team is downright diabolical. They've made free bands over the years with some of the champions they got from the game, including KDA, Hardsteel, and True Damage, all of which have produced some pretty fire bangers. And yes, I have listened to all of them. And they've made all kinds of bonus content with these characters and their bands, including bloopers, behind the scenes stuff, and for Hardsteel in particular, before their song debuted, there was actually small teasers with Discord calls and small accounts for each of the band members. It was actually quite funny, honestly, now that I'm looking back on it. All the stuff that Riot does for these bands makes them feel more alive and relatable, and I actually really like that. I just wish that they gave their bands more attention. From what I know, True Damage and Heart Steel have only produced one song, and I hope that they fix that in the future. The only thing keeping me from the actual game is obviously the community. While I have met some pretty good people within the League community, their uh, bad apples seem to outweigh the amount of good apples there are. Well, Zoid, I suppose it's alright for you to be into League of Legends, so long as you stay away from the game. Thanks, Prime. I owe you one. Uh, I suppose it would be. The most logical alternative? You take his word. Alright? Thanks, Megs. Hey, Bio. Yes? You've been awfully quiet the entire time. What's up? Oh, not to be rude, I just didn't care that you liked Lee. You do you. Right, Zoid? Huh. Thanks, dude. Anytime. You're so pretty cringe. That's it!